Dear Boyan, dear all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to send you my message, although unfortunately I cannot be one of you here today. My heart is very close to the meeting and I wish you all the best for a most successful and wonderful meeting. Uh, I would like to tell you a few words of how it all started. It all started about uh, 30, oh no, many more years, because Medaset is 30 years old uh, this year, but I started at least seven uh, years before going to Darganas, uh, watching what was happening there in Zakynthos, and um, the roots of my childhood were coming back to me all the time as I was uh, brought up about two meters from the sea in an uh, old shipyard on the island of Idra. Uh, the shipyard was turned into a home, of course. You cannot uh, live otherwise in a shipyard, of course. Now, um, the first time I ever saw Laganas Bay was after a, um, a terrible hurricane that had, we had uh, to anchor our boat at the time in the bay uh, to save it from the bad weather and from people being too sick, the guests were too sick on board. And that is when in the morning I saw the sight that kept my whole, that kept me alive all these years to help nature. A absolutely wonderful, huge beach, white sand, trees, it was something unbelievable, and not a living soul, Laganas Bay. I kept going back to Laganas Bay for several, several years, and still do. And uh, I was discovering each time uh, the uh, catastrophe that was happening on this uh, pristine beach, etc., etc. And uh, I must say that this, um, when I found out that sea turtles were nesting there, um, thanks to Dimitri Margaritoulis, uh, I thought, that's it, we have to save them. And that's how it all started. It sounds very simple, but it was not that simple. It was quite complicated, I must say. I had to fight to start with the local central administration, with the bureaucracy, with so many awful things that happened in this world. And they were much worse at that time, because it's a long time ago. Um, I had a lot of reaction to start with and uh, one of the stories I would like to share with you because um, I think it's quite melodramatic but it's still, I think it's worth repeating it. Well, I was visiting almost every day the portmaster's um, office uh, to exchange views of what was happening in Laganas Bay and that morning when I visited, he had a guest and that was the Bishop of Zakynthos, a huge man, enormous, very strong, very powerful. He was one of the protégés of the Bishop of Athens, very strong, and he was a Kinthian. And uh, as soon as he heard my name, that Mrs. Venizelos was there, uh, you know, in the room, he got up, caught my throat, in his, both his hands and started pressing with his four fingers both my carotids and at the same time giving me the worst aphorism, I didn't know that language of the church I must say, not to ever set uh, my foot in a church because uh, the devil will be after me and God knows what in the meantime I was suffocating and it had the, the portmaster, plus two of his men, had to sort of try to get me free out of his hands. In the meantime, I was green and, and uh, almost fainting, and uh, tears were coming out of my life, of my eyes. I found out later that part of Laganas Bay, the beaches that I was trying to, to save, let's put it this way, belonged to uh, himself or to the church, personally or to the church. Well, I'll never forget this story. I couldn't even 
press a complaint because he was a very strong man in the church. Um, then uh, we had another story that is typical of what the atmosphere and the whole situation in Zakynthos was at that time, was when a local uh, person that I had seen a couple of times watching me on the beach, but I had no idea that this would happen. He, I was out on the beach by myself, it was early morning, and there he was with two huge dogs. And then as soon as he saw me from quite a few meters away, he ordered his, his, to, his uh, two dogs to attack me. The dogs came towards me and myself, to, to, to sort of try to escape, I took it to the sea and started swimming as Po as fast as possible. Two dogs were after me all the time, uh, trying to reach me inside the sea. So there was the phenomenon of myself uh, trying to escape and the dogs coming after me, until I discovered that the dogs were, couldn't go any further and they started uh, swallowing water and I was almost sure the dogs would die. So I thought, oh my God, we don't want the, the dogs to, to, to die. So, so I started um, going towards the dog and help the dogs to get out of the water. I think that was a bit melodramatic, but there you are, it happened. This is to show you, to give you an idea of what was going on in Zakynthos, unfortunately at that time. Now it is much better, but the results of what still exists in Zakynthos are not that much better. There's a lot still to be done, a lot to be done, and a lot has been done by the National Park of Zakynthos, a lot, a lot has been done by the by Archelon, the Sea Turtle Protection Society. A lot has been done by thousands of volunteers, but still it's not what it should be. Now to go on about uh, um, Medaset, I would like to give you an idea for 30 years we have been uh, lobbying at Council of Europe um, for the Bern Convention. We have uh, um, been, uh, there's a lot of advocacy. Um, so we have been through uh, conservation issues, scientific research programs all over the Mediterranean, assessments of beaches uh, for uh, turtles and uh, uh, for conservation reasons, uh, surveys, monitoring, publications, co-authorships, public awareness, environmental education, which has been one of my first goals since the beginning and still is at Medeset. Campaigns, sustainable for sustainable development, etc., etc. Uh, and of course, our very close relationship and marvelous help from the Bern Convention and from the Barcelona Convention and RACSPA in Tunisia. Um, we have been assessing uh, thousands of kilometers of beaches for either nesting or possible nesting or um, to find out um, what if there is a possibility of nesting etc etc I'll give you a small uh, idea of it from the northeast Aegean in 1990 um, to Turkey that we're still there and doing our research, Egypt which we're still doing trying to help, Syria, the first ones ever to do a project in Syria was Medeset, um, uh, Lebanon the, also one of the first places um, that we started in the, on the mainland investigating, Libya uh, Libya, uh, Sardinia, Albania lately also. Um, I mean, it's, uh, we have been assessing during our lifetime up to now, Medeset's lifetime, 7,850 kilometers, which is quite a bit, I think. And I do believe that things would have been much worse if we were not involved. I don't think we solved completely, or maybe partly, but not completely completely, definitely not, um, the problems of the Mediterranean or the problems of the beaches that we were assessing or anything else. No, but what I believe absolutely is that things would have been much worse if Medeset, Archelon and all the NGOs that have been helping sea turtles in my country were not involved. Things would have been catastrophic completely and uh, there will be very little chance for the future for turtles. I would also like to uh, 
uh, say that uh, um, we have had, which is a wonderful feeling, that's all. It's a just, it helps us go on, have a, a lot of international uh, and local uh, national uh, recognition. Um, I got uh, together with Medaset, for Medaset, a Global 500 Award in Nairobi in 1988, uh, the first one. Uh, the Life Achievement Award a uh, couple of years ago in uh, Turkey at the international meeting. Um, the Athens Academy Award, which for my country is extremely important. Both myself and Medeset got prizes. And, uh, um, and several others that I'm not going to uh, to uh, bother you with. Um, the main thing is what we are doing now. We are doing a lot of very serious research um, uh, together with uh, other NGOs and uh, um, at the moment we have about six, seven uh, projects and lots of people who work for these projects. It's wonderful. When I go, come to the office and see it so alive with all the people around me um, trying to help, etc. Oh, it's such a wonderful f feeling and such a wonderful feeling after so many years because we have been really working on what is happening now to Medicine, all these projects and responsibilities for several years before they took place, before they happened. Um, and that is my best reward. That's where I feel that I've done something. I have helped. Of course, not alone, never alone, always with the help of others. Whoever says that alone, that they do everything alone, or they are so wonderful that they do everything alone, oh please, I don't like that. We are, we are, if we are alone, we can't do anything at all. You have to help. You can help, maybe, you can maybe work harder than others, or whatever, but never compare, never say that in your life. So, um, uh, what is important is the future generations. So what we uh, um, we all are doing right now is to um, to leave a legacy for future generations um, and uh, pass on the torch to them and uh, try to um, make them understand a couple of things that are very simple. The, the present generation has never seen a big fish. All the fish, let's say, whatever, take one kind of fish that you today you can buy at the market or you can catch yourself at the medium sizes. I remember enormous fish came, came the fishermen bought to either where I was brought up. Wonderful, huge, you don't see them anymore, they don't exist unless they come from a farm, fish farm. And of course, the sky. The sky, when I was a child, was blue, but blue. There was this blue color that it's finished now. I mean, even the best day of the, of the year, if you have the most wonderful sky and everybody boasts about, look, the sky of Athens, for example, it's so blue. It's nothing compared with what I remember in my youth. And there's so much else, the climate, everything else. So let's continue, all of us, to try and give what we possibly can to this planet, to these people, the, to the people, the friends, everybody, so that something remains. And and that tomorrow we won't give the right to anybody to say, well, look at what situation you left the global, the, 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 the earth for us. Why didn't you do something for it? So I hope that the new generation, with all the efforts that all of us in this room are making, that something will remain for the future forever. Thank you very much. <laughs>